Hey everyone, RG here and welcome back to a brand new Sims 4 building tips and tricks video. And in today's video I'm gonna show you how a simple trick gonna change your life regarding building custom made furnitures in the game. How many times you've created a small seating area or a nice grilling area that you couldn't use? In this video I'm gonna show you how they are usable even if you are stucking them in a counters. Yes, I said it. No CC, no mods needed, and it's even a base game friendly. I hope you're gonna enjoy this and let's get started. Hey everyone, RG here and uh, welcome to a brand new kind of tips and building tricks uh, that I want to share with you. And as you can see from the intro, even when you're creating a custom made seating areas or even grilling area or whatever you want to call it, uh, sometimes there are some problems because they kind of blend in together and the sims cannot really reach one of them the other one is blocking it and there is a way to fix that and I'll show you that right now now this method you can do it uh, um, on of course any lot any type of things it is perfect for outdoor uh, designs and it's not the best for using a inside of a house uh, designs. I'll, I'll get to that in later and show you some things that you might encounter or some troubles that you can find but I'm going to show you the basic. Now the basic is that this is an item and this is an item. This is the seating item and this is a debug item. By the way this is a tire from the new uh, uh, pack. The ti Tiny? No, Tiny is not the new pack. Oh come on. Uh, <laughs> this is from the Eco Lifestyle uh, debug section. To start off, we want, of course, by, by the way, just like always, active all the three cheat codes right now on the screen, you can see them. And then, once you do that, we want to create a basement. Okay, now, you can create basement only underneath the item that you want to fix. Or you can create a basement on under the area that you are working on. And then we can kind of delete it in a very interesting way. I'll show you in a sec. So once you have that, you want to take the item that uh, is kind of covering the item that your sim is going to sit on. Okay, not the sofa or the uh, or the uh, whatever it is, or the pillow or, or uh, uh, ottoman or whatever. You want to take the, the uh, in, in this case, we're going to take the tire and we're going to go down. And there is the tricky part, okay, because we are going to try to eyeball it all the way up using the 9 and 0. All the way up now if you go like this holding the um, holding the uh, wheel on your mouse you can kind of see where the the um, the room is ending so you can kind of eyeball it to be at the same level this is kind of I think this is what it should be now let's see how you see I'm a bit to the right so let's try to do it on the left a bit holding the alt key Almost now. Of course, I can remove now the uh, the uh, chair itself if I want, and that's of course if it is in the right position uh, uh, for you in your design uh, to be perfect in the overall style here. Okay, so for me it's okay. And now look at that beautiful thing. Oh yeah! Yee that's a yay for us. Now it is uh, perfectly working. Now let's show you how you can do it like in, in this thing okay you go the same method you take you go to the building mode take the um the thing that the fire is standing on now don't run away because i have some much more things to show you regarding this method and what you can do we will cover some grilling um custom made thing and how to put basically a like a refrigerator into a counter so many good things you can do with this method you would not believe now this is a bit more tricky you i don't have to bring it all the way up okay if i like it this way i can uh, leave it this way now let's take this thing down like so and let's check it light the fire is that beauty or what? What do you say? So this is how it's gonna work. Now, as I said before, uh, the same thing you can do with here. Now, as I said before, the biggest problem here is that this is working perfectly on outdoor um, seating ring area, uh, maybe maybe um, like chilled out areas near the pool. You can do the same thing using uh, um, 
like beds and things like that but the biggest letdown here is that when you're gonna try and do it inside doors like the item that you just raised up the hue of it is kinda gonna change a bit the color is not gonna be the same as the others uh, that are exactly the same to him if that makes any sense uh, okay let's see look at that now this is uh, a bit more tricky okay and it's gonna show you how you can create a custom made seating area from a, a cut down wood okay so or a log whatever you want to call it so uh, once I have the log this is a debug item from the outside outside right the outdoor living outdoor living is that the outdoor pack okay <laughs> you can find it in the debug section and this is a stool that I kind of descale it one time then brought the log on top of it and as you can see I'm leaving one thing like one small part of the stool outside so have an interaction with it okay but as you can see it, it cannot really reach it so how to fix that you basically doing the same thing with the log remember you're not moving the stool you're not removing the the sitting item you're moving the thing that is covering it so let's go down bring it up all the way until it will be over uh, the basement level and now let's fix the tool the tool the stool let's fix the stool and still have an interaction area with it and let's see if I can reach it there we go and look at that is that awesome or what okay so once you have the basic let me now show you what you can do it with it other than just seating areas okay so to show you another thing that you can do with that method that in my opinion is even much more fun and prettier and it will really give you much more uh, maneuverability in terms of designing is this i'm going to show you how to create a grill like an outside grilling area a custom made grilling area that is working even though you have a mini fridge like this one inside a cabinet yeah i know this is a thing that a lot of simmer around the world trying to figure and and find how it's going to work and i uh, and, and that method is actually fixing it so uh pay close attention because if you do one mistake it will not work for you and then you're gonna leave a comment oh, rg it's not working <laughs> so don't skip stuff and watch it okay so i'm gonna show you how you do with this and i want to add this as an extra grilling area and we have timmy here that's gonna test play all the things go over here okay so now we're gonna create a basement, but at the end you can destroy the basement and you won't have any problem with it. Okay, so let's see how we do it. Something like this. Perfect. Don't don't worry, this thing just went up. It will go down at the end. Um, is that okay? I believe it is. Maybe we're gonna need to have some changes, but now let's go and get ourselves the counters. And I want something black. I'll go with this one. I want one to the end side. On the right side. And maybe another one. Do we want to be like this and this? Yeah, why not? So let's take this one and this one. And we're going to use those. Now, this is the tricky part. Okay? So pay close attention. We're gonna go down and bring the counters, not the grills, the counters up. Once again, try to eyeball it on top. See, it's way back there. We need to bring it to here, I think. And check again. A bit more. To here. Okay, we are getting there. Even a bit more to the right side. Uh, let's try to do so like this yeah too much see those are small things that you really need to do manually okay this is perfect now as you can see and that I, and I said it before the difference between the colors is because this one is basically from the bottom area and as you can see it's even need to go higher one time like this okay yeah 
Now let's try to eyeball it again. Bit left. So as I said, the differences between the colors, the hue of them, of them is basically because this one from the basement and went up, and this one is on the surface, on the ground level. There is a fix for that, I'll show you in a sec. So once we have the first one, it's much easier to do the other ones. This one just go over here. You don't need to uh, go with the grills and the items that are usable to the basement level. You just use them, okay? And we do need another one like this on the other side. And it's gonna be tricky, so I am gonna do it like this a few times and then I'm just gonna delete the others. It's gonna make my life a bit more easier. Because um, I have one straight line as indicator to the end side of the grill. Uh, like this. This is a perfect. Now I can delete those two. And place this grill over here. One type, uh, type the nine number ones. And this thing, you can bring it to this side over here. And you see the differences between the colors? Don't worry, there is a fix. And we're gonna bring that beautiful um, mini fridge over here. Don't worry about the glitch area, we're gonna deal with it in a sec. And I just wanna show you this is 100% functioning, so let me just finish the whole uh, basic design here like this perfect now uh timmy here show everyone that all the things are working have a quick meal chip thank you very much grill something let's grill like hot dogs stop eating stop eating okay is that cool or what okay and now you can just dispose it and dispose of it. Um, not resume. Oh, come on. Throw away. Okay. Throw away. He's gonna do his thing. Uh, the grill is working because we did nothing with the grill. Okay. So you still have a more advanced. Yeah, this is because I was uh, moving too much. Uh, so we have a more advanced area, but yet the black area that is more blackish than the others is kind of ruining the things, right? Before that, we need to fix that glitching area. Let's take some sort of um, shelf. You know what? Let's take a shelf. Mm, this one can actually work nice. Not no, this one. Mm, there's another one. This one. The Master Chef. And uh, we are not going to give it a lift from the zero ground level because um, it, it, it is going to block the way for Timmy. Okay, so we do the same thing here. We go down and we raise it like this, um, like that. Yeah, as you can see, the things here is kind of giving me a hard time. Actually, this thing area here, I can delete it right now, just to make sure it'll have a bit more maneuverability with the building here, okay? Shelf again. I'm showing you the things that that you can uh, work with and how to fix some problems. Okay, so I know it's it, it's gonna take a bit more time, but at the end you're gonna end up in an amazing builders, and that's the purpose of my channel. Okay, so this like that. Okay, perfect. Now, how to fix the black areas? Thank you. Okay, so to fix the black areas, go to building again. And now you want to delete the bottom area, but you don't want to just delete it. Because you delete the whole thing. That's, you see, that, that's what I'm saying, don't skip stuff. Okay, because you're gonna see, oh, I just deleted the whole thing. No, don't skip stuff. You want to de-stretch the whole thing, just like this. And that. And this. And that, and the last part that is not touching anything, you want to delete it, okay? And the whole thing look just like normal. You can see that the black now is in the same uh, hue, um, and everything is looking great. Now, of course, it's the area when you are adding some, um, you know, uh, some accessories to it. 
and I will skip that because I just want to show you that the whole thing is working. So Timmy, once again, grab yourself some Ooh. chips. Perfect. Grill something. Hamburger. This time. Stop eating. Perfect. And that's how you do it. Now, very important note, this is the game-changing note for you. Do not, and I repeat, do not move anything after creating this. Because if I'll just move that uh, counter here, or move that counter here, the counters that basically are uh, inside the uh, grilling and the uh, refriger, uh, refrigerator area, if I remove them, those items will stop being usable. And I'll show you why, because right now, if you go down, they are counting as items from the base, uh, like the basement area. So they are uh, like ghost items, okay? Timmy don't know they are here. For him, they are not here. It's only for us. Only we can see them, like in quotes, okay? And once I do something else and I remove them, once I move them, okay, from this area, you see, I just moved it because it's not perfectly in line, okay? Once I've done that, it's no longer on the bottom area, and therefore, Timmy, our boy here, have a quick meal, and he cannot reach it. That's why it's important not to skip things in my tutorials, okay? Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget, if you enjoyed, uh, let me know by hitting the like button, share the video with friends, and consider subscribing to the channel if you are new here. For every week, new Sims building, tutorial, video, anything goes. And until the next time, keep that Sims party going for me, RGR Gaming, signing off. <laughs>